Hey everybody, Plasma1945 again. More performance of the multi-threading capability that has hit us like a lightning bolt. And I do know that some people are still having some challenges. Keep in mind, this is early, early beta releases. So it's not going to work perfectly yet, but once it does, it'll be awesome. Now, what we're looking at here are the settings. These are DCS World high settings. The system that we're going to test here is a 3060 Ti. So right side is the multi-thread left side is the non-multi-thread configuration to let you know prior to this upgrade i was getting um around 80 fps at 1080p of course the old non-multi-thread version was all that was available for the performance difference that i'm seeing here between multi-thread non-multi-thread it's not very much we're talking 10 fps and i think this is because the video card here is sort of at its max capacity it's really doing the very best that it can but hey we are on a 400 dollars video card at above 100 fps with multi-thread settings and with high settings enabled so we're talking shadows and msaa so I've got the build out of this computer on the left side. If you're running right now a third, fourth, fifth gen processor, uh, this would be actually a significant upgrade for you. I would recommend definitely the 12400 processor. A motherboard that I've got listed here is a good cheap entry level motherboard and 32 gigs of RAM. This will get your DCS to a really good performance point, um, this or above. And if you've already got a video card like a 2060, 3060, 2070, 2080, they're all going to be in about this range. So realistically, if all you need is a new CPU and motherboard, this will definitely do the trick and give you that multiprocessor capability. I've seen some issues with AMD. I am not going to be an AMD hater, but I've always had some sort of weird issues with AMD. So I stick to Intel because it just seems to work. And for people who are doing multi-threading, I think they're having less problems on Intel. Everyone I've talked to who's on Intel is like, yeah, stuff's working for us. All right, so what I did here is I cranked up the settings and went to 4K. That's right. So we've got high settings on the left, medium settings on the right, and this is in 4K. Weirdly enough, for whatever reason, the high settings seem to be a bit more stable. The medium settings seem to be a little bit less stable. All I can imagine here is, I don't know, maybe my PC was having some sort of a glitch or flip out here during the test. I reran it a couple of more times, but on average, 10 to 15 FPS difference in the 4K settings. But guys, this is DCS at high or medium settings on a 3060. So it's not a 4080, 4090. Or anything else this is a 3060 that's worth like 400 dollars. that's an equivalent to a 2070 super on a six core cpu so let's finish up this benchmark here and uh, kind of level out here so medium to high settings you're getting an extra 20 25 fps at 4k not too bad pretty impressive going back to the experiences other folks are having now i am intel through and through I have seen issues reported by both folks in the Red Star squad and outside in all the comments that I'm seeing that there are problems with Oculus, Vario headsets. There's also problems with processors that have more than eight cores. In those cases, some folks had success by turning going into their BIOS and turning off hyper threading or SMT as per recommendations. You can also disable additional cores in your BIOS that may allow DCS to pick it up properly. What guys have to keep in mind is adding the multi-thread capability to DCS is literally like having a Wright Brothers plane and all of a sudden you're in a use of bypass turbofan engine. That's the significant change that's happened. It's going to take a while to shake out and get better. For now, you've got the ability to still run the old DCS while those of us lucky enough where the hardware is working properly with it are able to run multi-threading, but it will come to you and to everybody else. It's just very, very complicated. There's so many CPUs, so many video cards, headsets, GPUs, bear with Eagle Dynamics. I can't say enough to thank them and just be patient, guys. Good things are coming. Plasma 1945 out.